Forget Optimus Prime, this is Lunar Excursion Vehicle 2, or Sora Q for short. This tiny ball rolls and crawls around the surface of the moon to explore its terrain, and it looks something like from the future, especially when it transforms to reveal a little robot. Sora Q, carried by the Lunar Lander Slim, are together hopefully making their grand entrance on the moon later this week. Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Liu, and this week, let's take a look at this mission in detail. Yeah. Lunar landers, we can't get enough of them, even though we cry and cry when they crash and burn. This week, after a four-month journey since its launch with X-ray Space Telescope, Grism back in September last year. I made a video on that. If you haven't checked it out, you should already. The Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, aka SLIM, is headed for the lunar surface this week. If the mission is successful, Japan will become the fifth country to soft land on the surface of the moon, joining the likes of China, USA, Soviet Union, and India. Developed by the Japanese space agency JAXA, SLIM's mission is not only to land on the moon, but also to demonstrate its advanced landing technology. SLIM will aim to land within an accuracy of 100 meters from the target landing spot, much more precise in comparison to several kilometers to tens of kilometers of conventional lunar landers. This is why it's been nicknamed the Moon Sniper. The end result will be game changing if it works because it means the difference between landing where it's easy and landing at points of interest. It'll open up so much more room for exploration on the moon. The landing technology includes vision-based navigation equipped with hawk-like eyes on descent. These cameras will peer down identifying lunar landmarks like craters and mountains and cross-referencing them with known features so that it can pinpoint its exact location. As SLIM gets closer to the moon, its landing radar will bounce sound waves off the moon's surface, telling SLIM exactly how high it is and how fast it's hurtling towards the ground. This will allow SLIM to make a smooth descent and it will switch on a laser as it gets even closer to get even more precise altitude measures. Lastly, using AI on what it sees around it, it will be able to detect and avoid obstacles like rocks, ensuring a safe landing and high precision landing close to the Shioli Crater, a young impact crater with a prominent ray system of ejecta thrown out during its formation. It's a miniature crater, only 270 meters across and the 3D printed shock absorbers on board will hopefully help to absorb most of its impact. But it's not all demonstration technology. The multi-band spectral camera on board will do a composition analysis of rocks in the lunar mantle to find clues on the origins of the moon. NASA gave them an, a laser retroreflector array, a device that allows scientists to reflect lasers sent from Earth to make extremely accurate measurements of the moon's distance. They also put one on Peregrine that launched last week and on the Apollo lunar landings before that. SLIM's mission also includes a small probe called the Lunar Exploration Vehicle 2, or Sora Q that will separate from the main spacecraft just before landing when it's still two meters off the ground. This tiny rover, no larger than a tennis ball, is developed by JAXA in cooperation with Sony Group, Doshisha University, and the Japanese toy company, Tommy. And it looks just like that, a toy, or maybe something from the future, like a BB-8 from Star Wars. Once grounded, Sora Q will break open in half, revealing two small cameras. Sora Q will roll around the slim landing area, imaging it and its surrounding areas, before relaying it to another vehicle, Lunar Excursion Vehicle 1, or LEV-1 for short. This is a hopping rover, which has direct-to-Earth communication equipment on board, so that it can transmit back to us what it sees. Unfortunately for us, however, LEV-2's battery power is expected to last just two hours, so don't expect too much. Anyway, if the landing goes well this week, I'm definitely asking for one of those Sora Q toys for my birthday. That's all for this week's video. As always, thank you to my YouTube Perks members for supporting. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.